Hey Mojoholics, I'm Matt. In this profile update, we'll be adding to our Angelina Jolie bio and let you know what she's been up to since. When we first published this video back in 2010, she had just wrapped up a few high-octane action films. Now, she starred as a classic villainess and even tried her hand at directing. So, enjoy this look at her early life and career and make sure to stick around at the end of the video for the update. She's an Oscar-winning actress who has made a career out of stirring up controversy and intrigue. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're taking a look at the career of Angelina Jolie. Are you challenging me? Name your stakes. If I win, you become my slave. Born on June 4th, 1975 in Los Angeles, California, she is the daughter of actor John Voight, but was raised by her mother following their divorce. Claiming to have been influenced by her love of movies and not by her estranged father, Jolie enrolled at the Lee Strasberg Theatre Institute when she was only 11 years old. In her youth, she embraced the punk aesthetic and became fascinated with tattoos as a response to her feelings of isolation. This, coupled with the fact that fellow students tormented her over her extremely thin figure and need for braces, caused her to cut herself during her days attending Beverly Hills High School. However, even before graduation, Jolie had been working as a fashion model and appeared in several music videos. Her professional movie career began in 1993 when she took on the lead role of a robot programmed for seduction and assassination in the sci-fi movie Cyborg 2. I thought it would be beautiful. Yeah, well, it ceased to be beautiful a long time ago. Following this, she gained attention from moviegoers in the role of a sexy teenage troublemaker in the movie Hackers, and for starring in several made-for-TV movies, which earned her multiple Golden Globe and Emmy nominations. But her breakthrough only truly came in 1999, when she appeared opposite Denzel Washington in The Bone Collector, and won an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress for her performance in Girl Interrupted. I'm sick, Daisy, we know that. It was at this point in her career that talk of Jolie's personal life began appearing in the media. Her marriage to Pushing Tin co-star Billy Bob Thornton made headlines, and the actress was hounded for carrying a vial of his blood around her neck. In 2001, Jolie became an action star when she appeared in the film adaptation of the popular video game Lara Croft Tomb Raider. Your bum's going to sleep again. All down the left cheek. Really? It's fascinating. Despite the film's dismal reviews, it made huge money at the box office and she later returned for its sequel. Interestingly, after filming these movies in Cambodia, she became aware of the severe poverty of third world countries. As a result, Jolie became a humanitarian and began caring for and adopting several children that she encountered on her travels, an experience paralleled by her film role in Beyond Borders. Over 50 million people are refugees or displaced persons in the world today. In 2004, Jolie starred opposite Brad Pitt in Mr. and Mrs. Smith. During filming, it was rumored that the two were having an affair, and shortly afterward, Pitt left his then-wife Jennifer Aniston to be with her. You think this story's gonna have a happy ending? Happy endings are just stories that haven't finished yet. Since then, Jolie has dominated the gossip columns, increased her humanitarian efforts, and appeared in several high-profile films. These included the spy film The Good Shepherd, the drama feature A Mighty Heart, the fantasy tale Beowulf, and the animated feature Kung Fu Panda. She also starred in the 2008 summer action flick Wanted and in Clint Eastwood's 2008 drama Changeling. Jolie then replaced Tom Cruise as a secret agent in the action thriller Salt, before starring opposite Johnny Depp in 2011's drama thriller The Tourist. Satisfied? Not for years. You okay? What happened? Once Jolie had wrapped up her voice work for Kung Fu Panda 2 in 2011, her 23rd movie in only 11 years, that must have been quite a shock. She took a break from acting to focus on her personal life. After learning she had an 87% risk of developing breast cancer, Jolie made the brave decision to go forward with preventative surgery in the form of a double mastectomy in 2013. On a personal note, she wrote, I do not feel any less of a woman. I feel empowered that I made a strong choice that in no way diminishes my femininity. A year and a half later, in August of 2014, Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt finally made their relationship official after being together since 2005. We talked about this, you remember? The marriage of both these starlets cemented their spot as one of Hollywood's power couples. We did. Yes, we did. After tying the knot, Jolie was back to work in the film business. Grand celebration. 
As Maleficent, Jolie starred as the title character of the 2014 film, an alternative portrayal of the villainess from the 1959 Disney film Sleeping Beauty. I like you, begging. Do it again. 2014 also saw Jolie take a seat in the director's chair for the box office hit and World War II drama Unbroken. It was really difficult. It was a, an extraordinary uh, challenge. It seems we can get used to Angelina as a director, since she also directed, wrote, produced, and starred alongside Pitt in the upcoming film By the Sea. Let us know if there are any other celebrity bios you'd like to see updated. And as always, for more of your favorite videos published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Would you rather I let them beat you to death?